false rumor or reunion. Suspicious signs Sussex brought Archie and Lilibet back but like cannon fodder. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be visiting the Netherlands later this week for the Invictus Games, but will the Sussexes be joined by their children Archie and Lilibet? The Invictus Games is known to be an initiative very close to Prince Harry's heart, and it returns this month in The Hague after a delay due to COVID-19. Harry, an army veteran himself, founded the Invictus Games several years ago, and the sporting event is for sick, injured and wounded servicemen and women. Will Archie and Lilibet attend the Invictus Games? Although royal fans are keen to see Archie and Lilibet at the Invictus Games, it is understood Meghan and Harry will not be joined by their two children for the event. Prior to Meghan's declaration that she will be joining her husband in The Hague earlier this week, some members of Team UK expressed a wish for Archie and Lilibet to join them. Meghan's attendance at previous Invictus Games events was praised by Daniel O'Connor, 31, an archery and indoor rowing athlete, who said, I believe she's doing a wonderful job. I would love to see her at the games. If she is, great, and I hope they bring the kids as well so they've got the whole family there. Harry and Meghan's two children live largely out of the royal spotlight since their parents left their working royal roles in March 2020. Archie accompanied his parents on their royal tour of South Africa in 2019 while he was still a baby and, aside from the odd social media appearance or Christmas card release, Archie is rarely seen in public. Harry and Meghan's second child Lilibet was born in June 2021, but royal fans have only seen one picture of Lilibet so far on the Sussex's Christmas card last year. Will Archie and Lilibet attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this year? Several working and extended members of the royal family are expected to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations over the four-day bank holiday weekend this June. The event will also coincide with baby Lilibet's first birthday, so it would provide the perfect opportunity for the Queen to be introduced to the only one of her twelve great-grandchildren that she is yet to meet. Recently, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have finally visited Queen Elizabeth II together for the first time in more than two years, page 6 can confirm. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were reunited with the monarch just days before her 96th birthday. They made a pit stop in the UK while on their way over to The Hague for the Invictus Games, their spokesperson confirmed to page 6 Thursday. The 95-year-old Queen met with them at her home at Windsor Castle, alongside Harry's father, Prince Charles. The couple flew to London's Heathrow Airport from their home in California, as TMZ first reported. They left their two young children, Archie, two, and ten-month-old Lilibet, whom the Queen has still never met in person, at home. The Sussexes are believed to have stayed overnight at their home on the grounds of Windsor Castle's Frogmore Cottage, where Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie now lives with her husband, Jack Brooks Bank, and their baby son, August. We can confirm that they visited the Duke's grandmother, as we previously said he hoped to do, said the spokesperson. They stopped by the UK on their way to The Hague to attend the Invictus Games. We're told Harry and Meghan are already now in the Netherlands. Their UK visit came despite Harry's row over security with the British government as he says his wife and children are not safe in his homeland. While Harry visited last summer for the unveiling of a Princess Diana memorial, he hasn't been back to the UK with Markle since they quit the royal family in 2020 and delivered their bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. During that televised sit-down, they made claims including that racist remarks were made about the color of their future children's skin. Harry's relationship with his 73-year-old dad reportedly has also suffered after he said he felt that both he and his brother, Prince William were trapped in their royal roles. The Queen, who recovered from COVID-19 last month, will celebrate her 96th birthday on April 21. Her Platinum Jubilee will be celebrated in June. She has been suffering with mobility issues, but made it to the memorial service for her late husband, Prince Philip, in London last month, which Harry and Markle came under fire for not attending.